a record. Oh my God, look at these beautiful faces. Hey everyone, so excited. And some of you, this is your first call even, like Betsy, what's up girl? Hello. Uh, what I'm up, running my around friend? cleaning up uh, dog pee and poop in the house. So I'll be on a little bit later. <laughs> give me, give me a little bit to get myself together. Get your shit together. Um, <laughs> well, we will, um, we're going to kick this off. And I know, so Christy and Kara have been so awesome to help me kind of facilitate this. And I dropped the ball mm -hmm. as, for those of you that are just coming on. I dropped the ball on getting everyone who volunteered because um, Jennifer was has been up me like or, like just like, hey, how can I help? How can I help? And I've just like, my mind has been bizarre and I don't really know where to focus. So I'm glad we're all here. And the intention of this particular um, call today is more of that speed round because we are now at, I think our number is 277. Um, no, we're at 280. We're at 280. I need 20 more people before the end of the year to hit my goal <laughs> of 300 people. But with that, we have not had a chance, some of us to, to interact. And so what we wanted to do is kind of take this call as a moment of reflection, learning, networking, and um, we called it the cookbook for success year 2023 highlight reel. And so if you saw the email that was sent out about two hours ago, the questions that we're looking to kind of use in our icebreaker rooms um, are there. But what I'm gonna ask you guys for your help with is I've literally never run a Zoom call where I've had to do the icebreakers. I've always been in, or excuse me, the breakout rooms. I've always just been put in one. So I did set it up and we were chatting before uh, you guys all came on. I'm not sure if it's gonna work. Does anyone know how to actually facilitate that? You, you should be you, able to. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead nope, go ahead. You're up. Uh, so you <laughs> should be able just to like hit breakout rooms because I just did this yesterday and how many you want. And then it will put, and then I would just do automatics. So then you don't have to throw people in at the last minute. So if you just do automatic, then it will send them off to there. Oh, I just hit, I just hit more and I see breakout rooms there. Okay. Um, but what I want to do is just check with the group before we actually hit that, um, especially Christy and Kara, since you guys helped me kind of knock this out. Anything you want to say or any like anything that we should talk about before the breakout rooms? I don't know if it's set to a certain time. That's one thing. Yeah, I was gonna say, I think you, you might have to, if you didn't set a time, you might have to call us back in. And I think as the organizer, you can, I forget what the button says, Ronald, you might know, but. I've always just said it as a time. Yeah. But I think it should say like bring back or something. Yeah, it'll say oh, like really? bring back or yeah. So you'll bring us back together. Um, I think that when we were putting this together and, you know, again, Kara has been just so full of ideas for this, but the thought was we do want to bring everyone together, but we also want everyone to get takeaways from it. I know sometimes I do networking and I feel like, oh, I made a new friend, but I didn't really learn anything that helps me in my business life. And we want this to be twofold. So the idea with the questions that we're asking in the breakout rooms, because we're at the end of the year, is for us all to get some cool takeaways and hacks on either, oh, I need to be doing that too. Or, okay, yeah, definitely. I was going to try something like that, but maybe I shouldn't now because Jennifer said doesn't work. So I'm going to save myself some time <laughs> in 2024 and maybe not try something. Uh, so that was what we were thinking as we came up with these questions is we want everyone to network and have that camaraderie that we love in the industry. But if we can also have some professional takeaways too, it's a win-win. That is a great summary. And I do remember, and again, we're all going to learn this together if these breakout rooms work. I did put in there... Um, and I don't know if it's going to do this, like a poll or like a quick, just um, yes or no question for each. So again, the, the fact that you guys are patient with me through this, I appreciate it. We're going to make the most of our time. If somehow I accidentally hang up on everybody, let's just make sure we all get back on and hopefully I don't do that. <laughs> um, but again, in the interest of time, the questions that we put together that were sent out, 
you don't have to ask all of these and rush through. I think the intention just like to piggyback on Christy is make sure that you're getting something out of this that of course you take away. Um, Megan, did you have a quote? Hold on. I'm Megan no, she's, she posted the question. Oh, she put it. Oh, my, you're beautiful. I was about to Thank say this. You. If, you, if you get in a room and one of the facilitators isn't in the room because of how it's shuffling people, just ask each other the questions. <laughs> yeah. Okay, perfect. Um, and then I think let's do a before because I think more people will join and an after. But everyone who's comfortable, I want to take a group picture because I always forget to do this on every call. And then we'll take another one at the end in case more people join. So everyone get all like, get all gussied up. Joe, are you, like are you having a bad one? hair day today? <laughs> Should this be the formal one and you do a funny one at the end and subject the other people to that? Let's do it. Um, okay. All right. Ready? Set. Cheese. Okay. Gotcha. All right. Here we go. So we are at not bad. We are only less than 10 minutes in and here we go. So we're going to give this a shot. You guys are the best. Love you all. Breakout rooms. And now let's see what it says. Okay, here we go. So it's saying, how many breakout rooms do I want? What do you guys think? Maybe five or four? Like what, how many do we have here? Looks four? like there's 21. Okay. All right, let's do four and then assign automatically, right? That's yep. okay, cool. All right, here we go. Let's see what happens. Wait, what the hell? Now what is it saying? Oh, it's saying, okay, open all rooms. Okay, ready? Oh, wait, is it doing it? Oh, yes. Oh my God, is it working? Okay, wait, so Joellis, is it just you and I in a room? Oh wait, no, you're gone. Jeff Hawk. Okay, I, we're just going to do introductions, and then we'll jump into the question. So I was I was kicking that off. So I'm Jeff Hawk. I'm the Chief Revenue Officer at E Property Care. We're a smart building, smart apartment uh, technology firm, and we work with Alarm.com at Point Central as our platform. Do installations around the country with owners, operators, developers of multifamily. So uh, no Tara for a while, and uh, always support her. Happy to see all you lovely ladies. Uh, Amelia Willard, I'll call on you next. Okay, awesome. Hi, everybody. Uh, this is actually my first um, event that I've been part of. Yeah, Tara, okay. I see you. Um, yeah, so I um, I am actually uh, kind of in between jobs right now, but I do have a multifamily background. Um, my last full-time position was with Smart Rent. Um, I worked in the content marketing function over there. Uh, building out the vertical for student housing and the United Kingdom expansion. Uh, prior to that, I worked for 365 Connect, which is a little bit smaller of a supplier um, based here in New Orleans, where I'm located. Um, I also have done freelance writing for um, Revise and Grace Hill, and I'm also working on a project with a um, self-storage investor for next year. So just really wanted to meet more people, um, you know, kind of network. Um, you know, I am looking for freelance work, part full-time work, you know, anything like that. So, you know, um, yeah, just really excited to kind of see some faces and, and meet people. Yeah, let's let's talk. I could definitely use uh, your skills on my team. All right, cool. <laughs> Worth showing up. There you go. That's all right. Amelia, you pick someone to go then. Okay, how about Lisa? Hi, my name is Lisa Russell. Um, this is my 37th year in the business. I've done property management, asset management, and prop tech. I built something and sold it to Real Page in 2010. So uh, I love all aspects and am now working on some AI projects that are coming out next year and um, working on burnout. I, I mentor people in our industry on burnout and uh, have successfully done that this past year and uh, now really seeing some impact uh, and some uh, positive uh, results. So I will continue to be doing that over the next couple of years. So burnout's a real thing. Yeah, it's real. Okay, you pick. Sherry. Hi, Lisa. 
I'm Sherry Raymond. I've been in the industry for quite a while myself, but I'm with PayScore today and uh, we do income verification. So basically sharing the truth about income, but this is my first <laughs> event with you all. So again, so excited newbie here and super excited about it. And uh, Debbie Nicholson was kind enough to invite me to join and uh, Tara then was kind enough to accept me. So <laughs> <laughs> um, really excited to to be here and to share and to learn really um, from you all because I think we all bring something to the table. So it's awesome. All right. So I guess, Jackie, you're the one. Hi, Jackie Musto. I've been in property management for almost 17 years. I was on site for majority of that time, about 14 years of that time. Um, up to a tri-site manager, but now I am the training manager at Avenue 5 Residential. Um, so I've been doing that for about two and a half years. My goals this year are definitely to expand my presence in multifamily. I was with the same company for 13 years. So, and it was a local uh, company here in Arizona called Mark Taylor. And so I didn't really get a chance to oh, meet yeah. too many people in the industry. So this is a really nice opportunity, Tara. I love this. I joined as soon as I saw it. It was available. I The more meetings that I can make, the better. It's just been hard lately, but I'm squeezing this in today before I host a sales rally. <laughs> I love it. Um, and thank you all. And so since many of you ironically have joined and we've never had a phone call, um, I will share just a quick snippet about me. So my name's actually pronounced Tara. For those of you who didn't know, it's a 50-50 shot, but you'll learn. <laughs> Um, so Tara Samuels, I obviously have my, my day job, which I've been in the industry over 20 years. I'm in a similar space as Jeff, uh, working with, um, launch, I launched a business development team for ADT multifamily. So they are selling smart home solutions, but my ultimate passion is mentorship. Um, it's something that I have, I tested the waters earlier this year to see if even I could get 10 people to join. Jeff was one of my early um, supporters. And we've watched this group grow now to 280. And if you didn't hear, my goal is 300 by the end of the year. Mm -hmm. And um, we have huge plans for next year and even beyond. So this is a group that is going to stay. And um, I've got some C-suites that are joining. Like it's just insane how much um, it's taking traction because it's just simply an organic passion um, I'm not getting paid for this. It's just my payment is watching the magic happen. So I absolutely love it. Um, I think we have been in this room for, let's do like, maybe let's pick maybe uh, if each of us just pick one of the questions and let's go around and then, um, we'll close the room and join another room. So how, um, Jeff, do you want to circle back and we'll start with you? Sure. Uh, I'll pick from, was there a good book that you read that improved your business? Uh, I didn't read it recently, but I recommend it to many, many people. It's a book from the author Bob Berg, B-U-R-G. And the Tara, you'll like this. And the title of the book is The Go-Giver. Oh, it's, yeah. It's a parable. It's not a true story. But basically, it talks about a young man in business. And he's got a mindset like he has to take, 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 take. And through a series of mentoring, uh, he kind of gets a reset on you have to be more of a giver than a taker. And in doing so, it creates a wealth of opportunities. What I find personally when I read it, it, va it validates a lot of what I do and how I go about my business. And I'm sure many of you are the same. If you haven't checked it out, uh, do so. And the thing that's amazing about the author, if you communicate with him over LinkedIn or other channels, he writes back to you. So I've gotten to actually know him personally, and he's amazing. So the Go Giver, uh, check it out if you haven't. That's pretty Love cool. It. It's a terrific book. It's it's very quick read and it's very uplifting. I love it. who wants to go next. Should I pick someone? Will that work yeah, go me? for it. I'm gonna go to Lisa Russell, AI expert. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so um it's interesting because it says um There's several. So there's several that pop out to me, but the biggest one that I think it says your um, 
course or educational session that you found insightful this year. And um, I, I'm a big learner. And so I have uh, taken courses with Landmark Education for about 20 years now. And th they provide uh, online services for um, ontological kind of um, mindset training. And um, one of the things that I did this year was I did one on money. And you got to see what you were attached to and what you associate with money. And then if you can like release that and let it go. And we literally, my husband and I did an exercise and within probably two days had $60,000 in our hand. And so it was an interesting like exercise to, to physically go through and write it down. But it, it, it was another thing to actually see it actually worked and what we had to do to get there. And, and it was action oriented, but it's interesting when the mindset creates an action and the action creates a result and how quickly that that can happen. So mm -hmm. that was the course that made a difference for me this year. And um, like I said, something that I share when I'm coaching. I love that. So at least did, did it make you change anything? Like, yeah. We, we had, so example, we created something called, um, I think we had a name for it, like a funny name, but it was creating money out of, no, out of nothing. And we had a, we had a camper that had been sitting in our, in our, uh, driveway for like a year and yeah. a little airstream. And so when we created it and wrote it down and actually put the action items to it, we put the ad up, somebody responded to the ad literally met us within 24 hours. We had a check the third day. So wow. it happened That's so great. rapidly, you know, that we, it, we got our money back and then some, but it was one of those, like the money was just sitting there. Like it was just, the whole situation was just not really present to us. So getting present to it and then action item it, it out and really just being clear what we wanted. Um, and we made a game out of it and it was really, really like, super powerful and i love and, that that's cool you know the guy lived like five miles from us but we put the ad like on a national thing so we were going to be willing to even drive it to somebody in mm -hmm. you know colorado or whatever you just so, wanted to get rid of it but didn't know how kind of yeah well, we didn't even it, we didn't even think about it it sat in the garage like it was like it was like an asset sitting there but we had it and we did stuff two and a half three years ago with it but it, it just never even occurred. But when you have a conversation about money and you, and you do the exercise that they had us do that showed up and then the, the action showed up and then the results showed up. And That's so awesome. $60,000 later, right. I so money. yeah, in three days, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. I mean, like manifest like that. So that's the, that's what we see sometimes when we're hitting a wall and we in life or in something that it are there little tricks to the trade that we can step back, take a like a slightly different action. And I have one called buy the ticket. And that is um, people ask me, I've traveled all over the world, India, eight times, Hong Kong, Sweden, all these places. Right. And they go, how do you go all these places? What's my answer? I buy a ticket. So, <laughs> the action of ticket creates yeah. another action and another action and another action. Yeah. So, but if you don't buy the ticket, it, it stays up on a vision board for yeah, 15 years, mm -hmm. right? So that kind of mindset is you have to cultivate it, but you also have to, um, you have to really make sure that you have support around those kind of mindsets. But you, you know, once you've exercised it and practiced it, Mm -hmm. I can manifest money pretty quickly now. So it, it, it like, like the, there's some, it removed a, a veil or a barrier that's no longer there. So if, if I want to get $50,000 tomorrow, I can't. And that kind of mindset opens up a whole nother world. Right. Sounds like we're going to have a manifesting uh, <laughs> session Wait, coming please. up next year. Will you pick <laughs> your next? Will you pick your next? <laughs> yeah. But but it one I actually created a, a speaking engagement. It just came up last night, actually, because we're talking about AI, but we're not creating. 
So I really want a, a topic or I want us to have some discussion, AI, but, um, um, uh, creating a future to live into. So creating a future to live into. If you're not out there creating a future to live into with AI, AI just happens to you. But if you're if you're creating out here, then then you have some end result, right? Mm -hmm. And so that's it, it, that's that's part of the creation is you have to you have to kind of start here, but you have to look into the future, create that. And we do it all the time, quarterly reports, end of year goals, budgets. But what we don't realize we're doing is we're we've got something in the future that we're living into. Love yeah. that. And, so, and we're um, going to just, we have to wrap yeah. up in a couple of minutes because yeah. I'm going to switch the rooms, but I want each person to get one, one chance, but thank sure. you for, we'll have to talk about that and maybe create a whole session on, on manifesting. Yeah. So Sherry, uh, you want to go with the next question? Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> so I think I'll focus on um, positive habits for this year that contributed to success. And you guys are going to think this is crazy. But um, <laughs> spending more time on the phone, actually calling people and having conversations has been really huge for me this year. Whereas we get so used to being email, text, <laughs> anything but the actual conversation. And I've had so many really valuable conversations this year that if I just stayed in my comfort zone and emailed and text, and of course you see everybody at events and that's very lovely, but actually, you know, when you get back to your desk, picking up the phone and calling them rather than like emailing them six, seven, eight times um, has really made a, a difference. And I think that a lot of times we just forget or it's just not as hard or we don't have their number. I don't know. That could be too. We have their email, but we don't have their phone number, but their phone number is kind of easy to find if, you know, you really want to talk to them. So that would be my um, contribution to habit and success. Love that. Love that. All right, Amelia, you want to jump? You want to go next? Yeah, yeah, sure. Um, so I want to speak about the uh, the book question because I think this might actually be really relevant for Lisa um, specifically. Um, so one book that I just, uh, I'm, I'm finishing it up right now. It's called um, All the Gold Stars by Rainsford Stauffer. Um, and it is, uh, it talks about a lot of different things, but in a nutshell, it really talks about, um, ambition and productivity and kind of like how we define success. And, um, you know, it talks a lot about burnout, which is why I wanted to bring it up for Lisa. Um, mm -hmm. because, you know, it's a common struggle for everyone, especially me as like a, as a freelancer right now. Um, you know, it's very, it was a very interesting read to kind of, uh, think about, think a little more critically about, productivity and, you know, shifting from this mindset of, okay, this project is done. I'm checking it off the list and I'm just going to immediately move on to the next one and actually sitting with it and, um, you know, bringing a little bit more collaboration and community into what you're doing and, and, uh, and what your ambitions mean. Um, so I thought it was a really cool book. Would definitely recommend it Thank to you. anyone who's kind of interested in sort of thinking a little more critically about goals and things like that. So yeah, just wanted to share that. I guess, uh, I guess Jackie is next. <laughs> so I'm actually an adult student. I am finishing up my bachelor's. I'm done in May and then moving on to my master's. But uh, actually out of all of that, even though that would all be um, help me with my career, the course that has helped me the most this year is one I'm doing for my child. He has ADHD. So my husband and I take a conscious parenting class. It's called Conscious Discipline. And my husband and I are both leaders of people. So almost every class after we're like, were you thinking about how this contributes to managing people? And he's like, yes. <laughs> so, <laughs> and it's so funny because it talks about how we're not able to actually force somebody to do anything and how we can mm -hmm. lead people to make better decisions. And it's talking about a child's brain and anybody who's under the age of 25, basically, but it does talk about how much some of our childhood disciplines do affect the way that we do things today. And it's been so eye opening to way the way that some even Gen Z reacts to things or, you know, even up to, you know, millennials and Gen X. So that has been one of the most eye-opening things, especially because a lot of my job is shifting from teaching sales to 
teaching leadership. So it's been, I've put a lot of uh, things in my teaching bucket from that course. That's awesome. That's kind of great to you. Good job. That's a, that's a big one. And and yeah. Jackie, I'm neuro spicy. So uh, oh. <laughs> yeah, that, 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 that's one of the fun terms to, to say. Uh, uh, my that son I, is I going utilize, to. Yeah. Yeah. It's like having, having it to embrace, right? Yes. And and, yeah, and having that, that it's a superpower. And then what does that look like? And, and really, honestly, I couldn't have done this career without it. So uh, totally agree. My son is going to be the most amazing, hilarious adult ever. I just want to make sure I don't mess him up in the meantime. <laughs> <laughs> As another parent, you will mess them up a little bit. It's yeah. what we do. Yeah. <laughs> um, the before I close this, um, I'll just share with you. I, the one I picked is what's on my bucket list for 2024 for multifamily. And it's it's no shocker that's specific to this group. Um, I have a specific goal to manifest 600 members by the end of next year. Ooh, and I also yes. am going to be creating a committee. So that now that the group is getting to, it's getting some traction, it's getting big, I admit that I need some help. So I'm going to basically be creating regions across the country where we have like subcommittees of this group um, and then gather at least once a month as a big group and then just have smaller pockets of calls so people can really get a chance to get to know one another. And then um, the last thing is just more frequent calls. Um, so mm -hmm. I'm going to probably for new members have like a standing call that happens, um, like at the same time, God willing every other week, you know, so that they're the new folks feel a little bit more like, okay, they're not as lost. So that is, um, that's my goal. Um, so I'm going to close this and see if we can do this without knocking everybody off the call. So, <laughs> um, the good luck. This is a really happens. fun session. So thank you all. And let's nice um, to meet you all. Yeah, yes, you too. Nice to meet you. All right, let's see what oh, it's gonna give us 60 seconds. Okay, cool. So everyone's getting oh, a 60 second nice. notice. Anything you guys want to share in the next 60 seconds? <sighs> Anyone know anyone that would like to join the group so we can get to 300 by the end of the year? I'm sure. I'll send out some, I'll sure. send out a couple of yeah, I'll, do, who do we send the name to or do we just contact them directly? That would be the question. Um, I'll put in the chat the same questionnaire that you guys filled out is exactly what everyone will fill out. And I'm um, making the, I'm going to make a point to make the mentor page more robust, get testimonials, probably put some videos. So that's one of my intentions for 2024 as well. But I'll put that link maybe when we all get back into the same thing. I'll throw that on the uh, chat. Perfect. Hey, Jackie, do you know Mary Susan Wanick? Oh my gosh. She's like one of my favorite people in the whole world. <laughs> I love her so friend. much. She's a good friend of mine. So, Oh my gosh. You're so lucky. I love her so much. She's the best. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh my God. We, we did it. You guys. You yanked us away too quickly. I did. And we were yeah. in there like, weren't we in there like 15 minutes? It was just yeah. Matt. He got cut off. He was in the middle of mid sentence, and then poof, we're back here. She asked for a book recommendation. I started telling her, we're, "Like, oh, I we'll do it. What, we all want to no. hear now, so do it." All right. So I asked. She asked a book recommendation, and I said, "Well, what do you want to focus on? Culture, sales, whatever." And so she said, "Sales." And I so I told her she has to read Influence. If you guys have ever read Influence, if not, you need to. Uh, Influence: The Psychology of Persuasion, and it's the psychology of this and. I have a psych degree, so I'm a dork for that stuff, but it's a way to be consultative in how you sell without being aggressive. I love that. It we got some really great book recommendations. Like All right, I'm muting again. Um, okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into another room for 15 minutes, and then we're gonna come back and have some time to kind of just talk about our experience. And I know we have a hard stop at the end of uh, 1230 Eastern. So let's hit it. Um, we're going to do this again. I'm so excited. This is working. You guys, you guys are the best. You're so patient. Um, okay. We're going to recreate the rooms. Four rooms. Ready. What's the chances we get somebody else in the room that we already got? I know. Right. <laughs> okay. Open.
Okay, looks like it's happening. Hi, guys. Hi. Guys, do you feel different being married? Oh, Say that again. Do you feel different being married? Nah, we were an old married couple already. No difference. <laughs> not, so much, not really. <laughs> Tara, I get you again. I'm like the lucky, lucky, lucky one. You're muted though. Still muted. What the hell? Okay, there we go. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um wait betsy ronald and shane were you guys already in the same group or no no shane. Betsy and I okay were. good oh you were okay well that's bound to happen okay so hi guys so good to Hello. see you um betsy thank god you finally joined i'm so excited to have you um okay so what we were doing in the last group and i don't know if you guys were doing the same is we first did introductions just quickly and then pick someone to go next and then we'll just pick one of the questions and chat about that. Um, so Ronald, do you want to go first? Yeah. So I'm Ronald Harrington. I am a training manager for Haven Residential and I am current. I work remotely, but I live in Indiana. Okay. Pick someone. Uh, Sherry. Hello. I'm Sherry Raymond. I've uh, been in the industry for over 20 years. I live in North Carolina um, and I'm with PayScore. So we do income verification um, in the multifamily industry. And uh, this is my first event with the team. So like, I'm very excited to be here and having a good time. So let's go Shane. Well, Sherry, I am also in North Carolina. I'm in Charlotte. I'm not sure where you are. Raleigh. Um, Raleigh, okay. Um, I am a regional manager for Middleburg Communities. Awesome. Betsy. I'm Betsy with uh, Managing Director with BGSF. I am also in North Carolina in Charlotte as well. Um, and there I've been, this April will be 10 years with BG. Ronald. That is so awesome. Congrats to you on your almost anniversary. I can't, it's insane. A decade, what happened? what happened i know and I um, anywhere for 10 years i'm very impressed thank you especially it's supplier side. Supplier side does not we don't live at the same company generally so this is weird she so wait betsy for your your 10 year work anniversary is bg gonna pay for your honeymoon to jamaica is that how Man, that i wish i wish <laughs> you've earned it yes <laughs> um I know that you guys all know me, but I'll, I'll just do like a quick um, intro, which is I'm Tara Samuels. This group is coming up on its one year anniversary. So I'm freaking excited. I have some lofty goals for next year for this group specifically. But if you guys didn't know, Betsy and I met because we both worked at the same company. So she's still there, but I did leave uh, many years ago, but we were compadres over there and, yep. you know, here we are. She's still we there and I'm gone. At the same mm -hmm. time. That's cool. I was, and yeah, regional I was in Chicago. At the same time. And regionals mm -hmm. at the same time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's been really cool to watch her journey. And then um, I I started the Chicago market because I'm born and raised Chicago, just moved to Atlanta a year ago. So Chicago is mm. my, my blood. Um, so who, so Shane, how about you kick off and pick one of those questions and throw it out to the group? Oh, my. Um how about what is your favorite hack that has made work easier this year? Okay. And am I Celsius energy one? drinks? Does that count? <laughs> what was that? I said Celsius energy drinks. Does that count? Ronald, I know it counts for you. It sure does. <laughs> Amazon said my case is going to be delivered today. <laughs> He's got it on auto ship probably, right? I do every two weeks. That's so funny. Uh, well, Shane, why don't you answer first and then pick someone? So I feel like my answer is pretty pretty basic. I feel like some people may have been doing this for a long time, but it's uh, I know we've heard a lot of people talk about white space and making sure you allow for white space in your day. And I transitioned this year from after working from home for two years back into an office environment. And wow. there's a lot of people that like to stop by my cubicle. 
Um, and because we have shared Outlook calendars, it's very easy for someone to tap your calendar and take your time. So I have learned to block white space on my calendar so that mm. people leave me alone. <laughs> You're like, That's the door's smart. always open, but not between these specific hours things. Sometimes I just got to get some stuff done, you know, so I just pop an hour on there here and there so I can focus. And um, it doesn't stop people from popping into my cubicle, but it, it does stop people from from stealing my time on my calendar. Yeah. That's so smart. Good for you. All right. Pick the next victim. <laughs> uh, Ronald. So... I have learned to say no to certain things. So I used to be like, yes, I can do that. Yes, I can do that. Yes, I can do that. And like, mm -hmm. and I kind of noticed that the play was just getting fuller and fuller. And like, the more you say yes, the more they give you without asking at that point. So like, I've kind of learned to say, if you want me to do that, what are you going to take off in order to meet that deadline? So like, mm -hmm. that's been definitely a struggle for me because I do like to do all things but I've just kind of learned like it doesn't matter if you work 15 hour days like the more you work the more they're going to give to you because they they want to mm -hmm. test those boundaries so like I had a very great uh boss earlier this year just kind of say it's okay to say no and if we really need something done then we can have the conversation of what do we rearrange to meet that because you're right there we'll, we'll continue to give you those projects because we know you'll say yes I think it's smart how you're able to, like, I don't think a lot of people feel that they can say, okay, what would you basically like me to not be able to, or like reprioritize right. so that they understand if you're shifting focus, then something will suffer or have to just be sidelined. And I yeah. think a lot of people are afraid to speak up and say that. It took me, you know, 30 years, but I finally <laughs> kind of learned like, we, we can't, you can't expect me to do everything that I'm doing already in a full-time job and continue to add more without a redistribution of some sort. Yeah. Awesome. Smart. Okay. I'm going to pick on Betsy next. Are we answering this one or are we, are we picking a different one to answer? You do either, whatever floats your boat. So Shane already heard this. I am picking a different one to answer because I think it is necessary. Um, I do, this is not a hundred percent work related, but it is productivity related. And that is, uh, it could be either one, either an app that has helped you or, um, like a product or service. There is an app called return queen that I utilize, um, all the time because I don't have time to go to the store to return things or to the post office or whatever situation it might be. And essentially it will hook to your email and we'll show you all of the things that you have purchased and your Amazon, all the things that you've purchased. And it's like a one click return situation and they will come to your house and pick it up. And it will also tell you yeah. when it's about to be like, you have 10 more days to do this or two more days or whatever. Uh, it's get out of here. amazing. How do they make money? Like, is there a fee? You huh? pay a fee monthly, which is not crazy. And that's it. Dang. Why didn't we think of that? Mm -hmm. interesting it's bananas and pajamas and i have saved literal thousands of dollars by utilizing this service because i always forget stuff oh, and then it just yeah or, yeah 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 whatever i still have something in my That's closet good. that i bought my husband about a year ago i know <laughs> in a bag it doesn't I did that last year after Christmas. I found two Christmas gifts that I hid and I hid them so well. I hid them for myself <laughs> and completely forgot to give them to the people I was supposed to give them to. Good time. And it was that's too like late a, to return them. That's a Clark Griswold moment. Have you seen <laughs> Christmas Vacation where he's yeah, hiding yeah, yeah. the presents and then find, yeah, like literally that's mm -hmm. what's happening. Yeah. Sounds like you just were ahead of your time. Like you were just ahead for this year. Like, you know. <laughs> But and then, then yeah, it, this morning, it seemed like something was missing, but I couldn't quite put together. What it looked like. <laughs> I did it. I did that exact thing this year. And I found a, this robot that I had bought Ailish. And I was like, this was one of her like big gifts. And it's just been sitting in this closet. Because oh guess what? Gosh. I don't need anything, which is crazy, but that's a whole different story. Mm -hmm. A whole different story. Or right, Sherry, you go. You yeah, Sherry, you go. Your turn. Okay. So the thing I'm going to share is... um. So there's this podcast that I got introduced to this year, which 
I do do podcasts. Like I, I do enjoy mm-hmm. them because I can actually listen while I'm walking and things like that. Mm-hmm. And, um, but it's out of the norm that I usually do. It's called April Dunford and it's about, it's called positioning. And I don't know if I like the sound of her voice or what it is, but like, I've really listened to just about all of them, but it really kind of, um, uh, has a tie between marketing and sales and how to position both of them together so that there's synergy. Cause you know, no matter what we're doing, whether we're on the, the vendor side or whether we're on um, the operation side, you know, obviously operations and marketing have to get along and have to come to some sort of agreement, no matter where you are. And she really kind of um, puts it out there in a really clear way to understand it. So I would invite you all to listen to April and um, see what you think. Okay. Into it. I'm a sucker uh-huh. for a good podcast. I know. She's good um, too. Okay. So we'll end you. with mine, which is, what is the one I wanted? Oh, what's a win that you had in 2023 that might help others? So how um, how I started this mentor group is I sat on it for a couple of years. I was chicken shit. I was like, I'm no one's going to like it. No one's going to show up. This idea is dumb. And then I'm one of those, my daughter and I rewatch movies all the time. And for some reason, this time when I watched this movie, if you've ever seen We Bought a Zoo, you guys ever seen that? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the quote from Matt Damon from the character in that movie. And I have to read it because I always botch it up. But it says, you know, sometimes all you need is 20 seconds of insane courage, just literally 20 seconds of embarrassing bravery. And I promise you something great will come of it. And Mm -hmm. one of the things, so that compelled me to just get out of my comfort zone and say, well, if no one likes the group, at least I tried. But I just keep thinking what if I had started this earlier? And the first person who who came, the first two people that came out and said, I've got your back was Steve Halsey and Dr. Debbie. Ah. And so those two people said like, hey, whatever you need, I'm on the right track. But it w- it took that quote for me to literally get off my ass and because I was in my own head. And I was like, so for me, the lesson is just take the 20 seconds of courage, whatever that means to you in your life and just go for it. Cause you just never know. So obviously if I hadn't started it, we wouldn't be sitting here talking about courage and books and podcasts and all the things. So, awesome. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, it's exactly 1215. Does anyone have anything to say before I close the breakout room? No, I okay, think we're cool. good. All right, let's have do it. Let's leave. All right, we're going. Oh, it's going to give us 60 seconds. I think I kicked myself out of the room before. (laughs) Yeah, well, you know, you learn. (laughs) I think everyone else got, so it's counting down at 39 seconds. Okay, perfect. Yeah, see, I'm learning. At least I know how to run these things now. This is so much better. I can't believe you haven't done them before. (sighs) Girl, like everyone who's been in this group from the beginning has watched me use Teams, Mm. Google Meet, back to Zoom, then then I got into a fight with Zoom and now like it's just been it's been a mess because tech wasn't always working for me and it would mm-hmm. just piss me off. But now we're back and we, we've been sticking to Zoom and now I know how to use the breakout rooms and I stopped fighting with Zoom. So we're good. There we go. <laughs> Mended fences. That's right. We're good. The holiday season. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right. <laughs> I'm going to need you to give us more than 60 seconds warning. This, that's just not enough. Okay, but it didn't, <laughs> yeah. it didn't ask me if I wanted to add more time unless I missed that cue somewhere. It's a standard. But it's a standard. I'm going to take a seconds. different approach and tell you how proud I am of you, how seamless this has gone, Tara. I know it stresses you out and you've done an amazing <laughs> job. Do you know why it stresses me out? Because you guys, our time is so valuable. Like you guys are making a commitment to come stop something to be in this group and it stresses me out when it doesn't work because then I don't want you to be like this group is stupid like why am I here 
But I appreciate you, Joe. So like there's like a big, we're never going to cool. think that, by the way. <laughs> I, think, I feel like when Tara, it's, 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 right for Tara. it's like the hair gets extra red. <laughs> <laughs> um, the girl on fire. Everybody back? <laughs> girl on fire. All right, wait. We wanted to do one more group picture. Um, we'll wait, Jonathan, whenever you feel comfortable to go on camera. So we'll just kind of wait because I want to do like one more fun um fun picture so let's open it up we've got 15 minutes ish uh oh he's back all right cool all right ready so everyone let's do like some funny face or whatever you guys feel comfortable doing um and I'll be posting these and tagging everyone yeah Betsy you get the most festive award okay I, I love your hat Lisa all right ready I gotcha <laughs> Oh, um, really, Joe, with the with, with the fireworks? I like the fireworks. That was nice. That was good. That was very festive. Like oh, can you do it, too? All right, so we've got 12 minutes because I do have a hard stop. Let's talk. Let's chat. What did? How did you guys like it? What did you learn? Anyone want to share anything? All right, I have a question for you. Yes. You have a blurred background, so your your headband is, like, popping in and out, and I can't see what it says. What, what's your headband say? So I got kicked out of my office because the housekeeper's here. So I'm in our youngest son's room. So I think what it's saying is Mercedes Benz. He has a Mercedes Benz flag. No, it looks like you have like a like a tiara, like a birthday it does tiara. Oh, right. well, I got the same thing. Wait, hold on. Is it wait right when I go? <laughs> yeah, it's when you don't yeah. have a green screen. It's picking up something in your background. It might even be the picture on your on your back wall. It looks like there's a I photo. think that's what it is. It's just Shane, I think it says Queen Mentor. Yes. yes I love it. <laughs> You're so funny. Um, and I didn't get to talk to all of you. So please share. I want to hear some of the fun, fun stuff you guys talked about. Uh, I just want to say one quick thing and a thank you. Um, I meant it. I was in a room with some people and um, some of the people, actually all the people on this call have been some of the most impactful people I've met this year that have come into my life. So I just wanted to say, you know, thank you. I don't know if it was just a happy accident because I connected with them in many different ways, but this group is awesome. I look forward to 2024 with you guys. You're the best. You guys have seriously made my day. Seriously. I can't yeah, do I it without you. I just wanted to say uh, this was my first event. Um, Jennifer brought me into this into the fold with this event. Uh, she hired me at my last job. Love, love Jennifer. Oh, oh um, thanks, man. You're welcome. Um, but yeah, this was really cool. Super glad that I I decided to join, and definitely looking forward to more events in the future. Wait, and tell us where because some of you may not where are you where where are you living? I'm in New Orleans. <laughs> I think you might be the only one from the group, not necessarily in Louisiana, but I think New Orleans. That's Absolutely amazing. So. Yeah. You just have to come to Atlanta again. I will. I'll be back soon. Don't worry. <laughs> Besides Jennifer and I, who else is in Georgia on this call? I don't. Oh, yeah, that's right. Arlene. And so just the three of us, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay, okay Tara, so in the holidays, I think yeah. you should make um, Betsy talk about her app thing, the return queen thing. Yeah, yes. Betsy, that was a really good one. And we can wait till you're, I can either tell it or you can say it when you're back on. But yeah, she shared a good hack for all of us to save time around the holidays. I'm here. Oh, okay. I was going to say, if not, Karen can, to or not Karen, Jana can totally pitch it. Uh, <laughs> so she's in. Um, I've been using this for a year, maybe a little bit over um, a year, but essentially it's called return queen. It's not everywhere yet, but you connect it to your email and to your Amazon and it will literally pull in all of your purchases and you can add purchases too. So if you see something that's not in there, that should be there, you just, um, there's a way to do that and you can add it in and You'll just, it'll tell you how long you have to return the thing. You click a button on there and put it into your return bag and schedule a time and they will come to your house and pick it up and return it for you, which is amazing. And we're all busy professionals and it just saves so much time and money. And so I highly recommend it. They've always been great. They give you a little purple 
return queen bag. Hold on, let me find it. Um, I love that. that. You put all your stuff in and hold on. Running around my house. So um, do you have to box it, Betsy, or do they box? No, they do everything. Wait, they box it too? Yeah. This is the this is the bag. And then you just put your stuff in the bag. Um free, free, free willy, and they will come and pick it up. If it's in a box, it's fine. The last time I returned stuff, I had it still in the box and they came and picked the box up. That's it. I'm going to be, I'm going to create something that's going to say multi-family return package company. I'm just going to just be the queen and then go to all the apartments and pick up all the packages. Uh -huh. Yes, myself. It'd be fine. It's like fetch, but not. Exactly. <laughs> it's so amazing. I like, I, I tell people, I'm like, <laughs> you don't understand because we just, I leave the stuff. I have a pile of things sitting in that room right now that I need to either wrap or return. Yeah. And I've got a list on my thing. Like, am I going to keep this or I'm going to return it? So. My God, I love that. Um, also really quick, I'm throwing it in the chat. Several of you heard my goal for next year. I talked about my goal for this year, which is 300. We need 20 more. How do you refer people? So I'm sending you as the chat in the chat, the link. Um, my lofty goal for next year is 600. Um, I'm pretty sure Joe Summers told me that, um, Joe, didn't you say we we're going to get to a thousand is I think what you said. So I pushed <laughs> you for 500 by end of year. And I said a thousand could work next year, you know, um, especially as word keeps spreading. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. But you told um, me not to tell everybody yet. So, well, I, I know, just... I know because, <laughs> um, and I'm going to put this, I'm going to put it out to the big group email, but you guys can know now. Um, I told a few people um, in the last breakout session, but I'm actually going to create a committee to help me run this and, and spread it out so that we have more like subcommittees of mentor grouping throughout the country. And then, but at least once a month, we all come together. So, um, and I'm also going to have a standing call, hopefully at the same time, uh, once or twice a month for all of the new folks and um, asking any of you more seasoned professionals who've been part of this mentor group to hop on when you can to just kind of have that encouragement because I've been reaching out individually, but I swear I'm only, I can only do so much. Um, but you guys are insanely amazing for even telling people um, Betsy threw it into our next gen committee with Ronald. Like you guys were amazing to even do that. Right. But um, you, you, um, and actually, as a matter of fact, mentor matchmaker orientation. What do you say? <laughs> it's a mentor matchmaker orientation. You know, yeah, like when you're in or anybody when you join a new association, they have like an orientation like yes. every month, just to talk about what it is. Have to, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Because I feel like that's the piece that's missing, and then I'm like trying to give everyone a handwritten card every time they like and, and offer to like, Hey, let's have a one-on-one -on -one call. But I'm like, how am I supposed to do this? Stay married, stay being a mom and have a job. <laughs> yeah. You did your, your, your group Tara was um, put at the bottom of Trevor Park's trend. So when you submit a oh, trend cool. at the bottom, it says, would you like to join any groups? And there's five different groups and you're one of them. I just did my trend. So um, oh, just, awesome. just so you're aware there. Yeah. Love I didn't know him. if you knew. Yeah. Love him. You guys are awesome. Um, so we have five more minutes. Um, if no one has anything, I want to throw one more thing out, which is I'm going to be sending a sign up sheet. There are several of you on this call who have stepped up and on the informal meet and greet have taught us something you're passionate about. So Lauren just did one on Monday about the power of New Year's resolutions. Um, Kendra has done one on mental health. Joe, we still need to reschedule yours. Um, oh my God, I'm looking to see who else has done one on this call. Uh, who am I missing? Maybe no one else on this specific call. Do you need, do you need your room? Can you give me five minutes? He needs his room. See, I need. <laughs> He's, like, Mom, come on. He's like, get the hell out of here. Um, so, okay. it, or if anyone wants to speak up now, I'm getting ready to put the schedule together for next year which you guys, I can't believe is a couple weeks away. But um, does anyone have anything that you're passionate about? Please, you don't have to say it on the spot, but get with me. But I will put like a Google form together um, because I, I think the power of the meet and greets is not me talking. It's you guys sharing something. It's a resource. It's teaching us something that we may not have even 
um, known how to do, but it doesn't have to be about multifamily. It could be about whatever you want it to be. It could be if you're passionate about a specific book. Um, Lisa, you were talking about manifesting. It literally could be anything you want. Um, and we have so much fun as a group doing that, the meet and greets. Um, you guys saw I created a Facebook page on Friday. Um, or I think it was on Friday. I spent the weekend, um, which is why I'm shocked that I'm still married because I spent the weekend putting all this stuff together. And my husband was like, I'm still here. Like, can you, can we hang out? And I'm like, yes. <laughs> yeah. Do you, do so, you want to be in my group? You can hang out with me in my group. <laughs> yeah. You want to be in my <laughs> Um, anyway, so in the last few minutes, you guys, who has anything? I just thank you guys so much. This worked really well. I'm glad we, to see new faces is, too. When is our uh, gift exchange? Just dates. Sorry. Do you, I know that we have, we have like a the gift exchange and we're going to all come together for that as well. Yeah, I'm going to do it in January. I haven't decided. It's either going to be the first week of January or the third week of January because the second week of January, I'm already insanely crazy. So pro I would okay. say probably the third, right? Because I think a lot of people are going to have a lot going on the first week of January. Wait, is this um, than the gift exchange that's happening now? Those, yeah. To, is it, yeah, you donate the 18th or? It was just suggested that you get your gift out to the person that you were paired with by the 20, what did I say? The 22nd or something like that. And then um, we were going to all come together and have a call about it to just show and tell what we got and what we gave and just more networking. And if you didn't get paired with somebody, you could still get on the call and network. Like it's not a, it's not a real thing. It's like not that serious. <laughs> it was just more, and some folks who aren't in the mentor group signed up for it. So are and that was okay? my way of recruiting. Oh, sorry to interrupt you. No, go ahead, but Joe. Are you okay if we share the link on like this? Yeah, of course. You... Okay. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, I have to shout out Kara and Christy and um, Jennifer and Joe who and Janet who have constantly asked how they can help what can they do how can they make lauren i think you did too like it, and if i forgot someone i apologize but um this was great like i think hopefully you guys all made some new friends uh -huh. learned some new things um we're gonna do more of these breakout rooms in our meet and greets now so that it it's a little bit more of an intimate way to get to know people so that's one of my other initiatives to help people just Get out of their comfort zone. Yeah, go and ahead. I, I will. I will say real quick. Selfishly, I have to jump to another call. Believe it or not, but um, I selfishly love this time. I don't know about y'all, but I have two kids, and afternoons can get tricky. So, or eight o'clock at night is always great. But, um, but I do love this time. Selfishly, Tara. So, um, I was very glad to see this time on the the schedule for this one. So, okay, that's awesome. Thanks for the feedback. Anyone else want to say anything before we hang up? Because I too have a call, but um. You guys, this has been fun. Thank you. We're all this together. We appreciate it. Happy yes. holidays. You. I have happy 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 holidays. Holidays. I'm happy. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Wait, wait. What did you say, Arlene? I have a new mentee today, so I'm happy. You do? Who's your awesome. mentee? <laughs> Irving and I are going to work together. Oh, that's amazing. Okay, that's awesome. Okay, I'm writing that down. Did anyone else connect to do any mentorship? No, but I'm know? available. I'm available to mentor or mentee. Yes, so just oh let her I love know. it. <laughs> okay, love it. All right, y'all. Well, have a great weekend um, and happy holidays for whatever you celebrate. And I will um, talk with you later. Happy holidays, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.